Welcome back to the CBS 6 Storm Team Winter Weather Special, sponsored by the law firm of Allen & Allen and Law Auto Body, the best auto body shop in town. During the cold weather, we do lots of things to keep ourselves warm, but we can't forget about our pets. While many dogs stay outside much of the year, when the temperature gets below 40 degrees, you should get them inside. I think as soon as you're getting that cold, you know, unless you have an incredibly well insulated dog house and, you know, they've got a really thick coat that you're probably getting into temperatures that they're really not truly that comfortable outside in the cold. Pets can experience frostbite and hypothermia just like humans. With frostbite, you'll see discoloration of the skin. Hypothermia occurs when the body loses more heat than it produces and the body temperature drops. If you suspect hypothermia, it's best to wrap your pet in blankets and get them to the vet immediately. But don't warm them up too fast. One of the biggest problems is with um, heating pads. I think people like to use things like that, which is fine. You just need to make sure you've got layers between that pad and that animal because you can actually create heating pad burns if you're choosing to use something like that for them. Another hazard in the winter is rock salt. It's fine if your dog is out for a quick walk. You can just wipe their paws off. But if they're out for an extended period of time, you'll want them to wear some type of protection on their paws. Otherwise, the pads may get extremely dry and crack. One really good option to consider is purchasing a pet-friendly ice melter. It won't harm your pet and it's available at most major pet stores. Another thing to consider is possibly purchasing a pet-friendly antifreeze. Regular antifreeze is extremely toxic and can be fatal to pets. Uh, it's sweet, so pets tend to really gravitate towards it and like to lick it up. The problem is, is it can cause a really severe form of kidney failure. Don't forget to watch for outdoor cats that can hide under engines to keep warm. The holidays bring many other hazards. You have problems with they can ingest plants. We like poinsettias, hollies, mistletoe, all that that's out there now. Um, those can all create some pretty significant GI upset. And don't forget about the Christmas tree. Pine needles, ornaments, and tinsel can be a dangerous attraction for your pet. Chocolate can be fatal, so make sure you don't have any sitting out or wrapped under the tree where your pet may try to open it. When the heat comes on in the house, pets often suffer from the same dry skin problems and allergies that humans do. They develop scratching, itching, they can get secondary infections, paw licking, ear infections, face rubbing, the whole gamut. Dr. Nicola Williamson treats dogs and cats that have ongoing allergies and offers advice on how to avoid significant problems. Vacuuming is going to help tremendously with uh, house dust mites and cleaning uh, bedding, dogs bedding, cats bedding frequently once a week and using hot water. It's difficult to get rid of all of the house dust mites in the house. It's practically impossible. Running air purifiers also helps and keeping the humidity under 55 percent. It's important for our pets to get exercise during the winter. If the weather permits, take your dog outside. But there's a lot you can also do in the comfort of your own home. You can play hide and seek, you can play tug, you can play fetch. Sarah Babcock from the Richmond SPCA suggests using puzzle and activity toys. These mentally stimulate your dog by making them find the treats that are hidden inside. Training classes are also a terrific option for your dog. We have agility classes and basic obedience classes and tricks classes and fly ball and tracking and nose work um, all starting at the first of the year. So that would be a great way to get your uh, pet involved with indoor stuff and get them lots of exercise and socialization as well. So have fun with your pets this winter while keeping them active and healthy. I'm meteorologist Mike Goldberg for CBS 6.